everyone welcome to another learning video from nurses the heart of healthcare keep learning keep growing my name is shanaz and in this video we are going to learn one of the important manual which is a part of atls that is advanced trauma life support okay and the name of the manual is log roll manual which is also known as log rolling or log roll okay we have two types of log roll again supine log roll or prone log roll it depends upon the uh, what we say the position of the patient uh, in trauma okay then uh, before moving ahead i would really appreciate that if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and if you find the content helpful please do like and share my videos okay so let us split and see the meaning of this log roll manual log is nothing but it's a large piece of a tree trunk yes okay and we call it log roll because we are going to turn the patient like a uh, log here we are going to roll the patient like a log okay and manual because it's a planned it's a very clever it's a skillful and careful movement of the patient to obtain an advantage okay then what is the main purpose or the aim of doing log roll manual why we are doing log roll manual log roll manual the main purpose is to maintain the alignment of the spine okay while turning the patient while moving the patient who has had spinal surgery or suspected or documented spinal injury so log roll are often performed on patients who are having suspected neck or back injuries okay it is the most effective procedure during transportation and care of patients with trauma okay and especially with spinal injuries okay but please remember log roll manual cannot be performed in patients with unstable spinal injury because it can worsen the uh, condition okay and why we are doing this to prevent further neurological damage to the patient spine okay to prevent secondary damage secondary neurologic damage to the patient spine okay because if we are not going to uh, see moving or transportation of the patient with the uh, uh, spinal injury in trauma and post op spinal surgery is different from the other patient okay we have to handle the patient spine with utmost care okay because there are very vital nerves arising from the spinal cord and they are supplying to different parts of the body and if we are going to manipulate it we don't handle it carefully then we may damage the nerves and you know the patient can suffer it can cause secondary neurologic damage to the patient so that's the reason we have to roll the patient like a log okay to maintain the spine alignment okay and who can do it when it can be done obviously medical professionals have to do it okay and uh, when it has to be done is like in patients with uh, trauma trauma patients it's a very important part of trauma care okay when you su have suspected or documented spinal injury okay the patient was not wearing a helmet and driving and met with an accident then you are going to do log roll okay with cervical collar in place okay and uh, then in patient uh, with post op spinal surgery okay and uh, uh, how many members are required log roll manual is a team effort it cannot be done by a single person it's a team effort at least three members are required to do log roll okay and if four members are there that is well and good okay let us see the position of the uh, what we say rescuers in log roll manual okay so the first rescuer as you can see here will be standing at the head end of the patient okay and he or she will be controlling the roll controlling the log roll he or she will be the leader of the log roll okay and then the second rescuer will be standing at the mid chest of the patient okay and the third rescuer will stand at the upper legs level of the patient okay and the fourth rescuer will be on the opposite side and he or she will be examining the patient's back quickly when they do the log roll uh, for any uh, spinal injury or for any abrasions lacerations okay and if they want to change the linen also they can do that okay so log roll is not only done for the transportation or movement of the patient but also for the examination of the patient's back and to change the linen and to provide the care okay so it's a very helpful technique and if you are working as an emergency medical technician or as an emergency nurse or as an icu nurse or uh, a nurse in post op care department then we must have a sound knowledge of this manner and should be able to do it effectively okay fine then now the rescuers are positioned now how to do it the rescuer one as i said will be controlling the movement as you can see here rescuer one who standing at the head end of the patient who will be controlling the log roll will uh, what we say stabilize the patient's head and neck in neutral position how without applying the traction okay 
so how they are going to do is he or she will grasp the patient's shoulder as you can see here at the neck he or she will grasp the patient's shoulder at the neck and then they are going to gently position the patient's head between their forearms okay and they have to take the support the, the elbows must be supported on the bed okay and uh, uh, first thing is they are going to place the cervical collar okay the other rescuer will place the cervical collar and with cervical collar in place still the rescuer one should maintain the neutral uh, position of the uh, patient's head and neck okay cervical collar is placed it doesn't mean that they have to leave the head and neck no even with cervical collar in place the head and neck should be uh, stabilized in neutral position okay then the second rescuer the second rescuer as you can see here will reach over the patient and will grasp the patient's shoulder and with the other hand she will grasp the patient's buttocks okay and the third rescuer will cross over the second rescuer's hand will grasp the patient flank region and the legs lower limbs okay and in this way they are going to uh, gain a control complete control over the patient's body and then on the count of 3 okay the rescuer at the head end will say 1 2 3 roll up then that time all together three of them will roll up the patient okay like this as you can see here see they have maintained the alignment okay on the count of 3 they will roll it up together okay they will uh, roll the patient like a log and the position of the head shoulders spine hips and knees is simultaneously maintained okay so this is how they do the log roll to maintain the spinal alignment okay and the fourth exam fourth uh, rescuer what they will do they will quickly examine the patient's back from head to toe from occiput to foot okay for any uh, spinal injuries for any lacerations for any abrasions okay and if they have to change the linen or remove something underneath that also they will remove and whatever the care they need to provide that also they will do it okay and once the purpose is done or if they are transferring it transferring the patient from the uh, trauma site to the hospital then they will put a spine board here okay and then they will put the patient on the spine board for transferring purpose once the purpose is done then their patient is going they on the count of 3 again the patient at the the person at the head end will be controlling he or she will say 1 2 3 roll down then all together they will roll down the patient okay simultaneously so that they avoid patients mm, what we say without uh, flexing the patient's body so this is how log roll maneuver is done okay in case of trauma it is very important maneuver to transfer or to move the patient with trauma okay and we must be doing it effectively if we do it effectively properly with proper team coordination then we then we can prevent further neurologic or secondary neurologic damage to the patient okay and we are healthcare professionals we are here to alleviate the patient suffering not to deteriorate their condition so that's the reason we have to you know have a sound knowledge of this maneuver and practice it again and again till we become perfect it should be done simultaneously with proper team effort okay so this was log roll maneuver i uh, hope uh, the video was helpful in understanding it and if you found it helpful then please do subscribe my channel uh, like and share my videos and uh, as a medical professional we have to be a lifelong learner keep learning keep growing and keep yourself physically mentally and spiritually healthy and uh, keep smiling and stay connected with nurses the heart of healthcare thank you so much for watching